Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're going to be talking about the widely discussed uh, number one wide receiver in the 2019 NFL Draft class, at least number one wide receiver on certain people's boards, and DK Metcalf, wide receiver out of Ole Miss. Uh, and based on his, and also if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. Uh, but getting to his data, he had a 51.24 college market share production score. Uh, when you look at the uh, thresholds at the position, he doesn't hit the five-time All-Pro threshold, three-time All-Pro threshold, three-time Pro Bowl threshold, or even long-term starter threshold with the position. There's only been a handful of wide receivers to hit below 58 and go on that become long-term starters. Uh, some of them have names like Lavernius Coles, uh, or uh, I'm trying to think of a couple. Dwight Clark is another one of those players. Just not a lot <laughs> to really mention. Uh, so this is the only real issue with DK Metcalf, and I know a lot of people are going to bring up his his injury as the issue with his production metrics. But even when you adjust for the injuries that he had. So like if you just take in all the games he played based on what the passing yardage was, he still only put up about a 57 uh, production score. So he was basically right on the line in terms of long-term starters. Uh, and when you look at the averages of the position, it becomes even more clear that the average All-Pro score is 92.14, the average Pro Bowl score is 88.38, and the average starter score is 81.45. Now, does this mean that DK Metcalf is going to be a bust? No, it, it doesn't mean he's going to be a flat out bust but it raises a lot of question marks of a guy like this because you know this is someone a lot of people have in the first round so people have him as a top 10 pick a top 20 pick and he's definitely a physically impressive player you know there was that meme going around of him kind of standing in the gym with his shirt off and you know looking jacked yoked up you know if you will uh but you have to wonder, a guy who, who's that athletic, who's that yoked up, why didn't he produce more? Why didn't he have more dominant games? Why didn't he do what he needed to do to become more productive? So I think that's the biggest issue with, with Metcalf is I, I do understand a lot of people are comparing him to Josh Gordon and a lot of those sort of things. And Josh Gordon is another guy that uh, had below average production, and he's someone who had also off-the-field issues in terms of drugs and stuff that definitely kind of held back his career at college and the NFL. But I just think that there's just something missing here. There's something that doesn't smell right with DK Metcalf. And um, if he goes on to have a very productive career in the NFL, great. You know, if he proves the metrics wrong, great. But I think there's something about him that people are missing. And I think if he doesn't have a very long career, I think we'll figure out what that is. Uh, or maybe not. But ultimately, the, this is the biggest sort of issue of DK Metcalf and, and why a lot of data people are kind of concerned with him. And of course, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification bell in case you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.